guys, and females here. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title, today's video is about 10 reasons why your hair is so dry. All right. Before we get into the video, I just want to welcome all those of you who are new here on my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And before you do anything else, please just hit that little red subscribe button down below and join the family. And also don't forget to put on the notifications bell. That way you will know every time I upload a video each week, you will be notified. All right. And for those of you who have been with me, for a while welcome back okay let's get right into the video so dry hair was something that I had to deal with um, from the first few years after I picked up and I returned natural I have always had a problem with dry hair so I am just going to give you a few pointers or some reasons why hair may be dry and tips to combat those or to prevent dry natural hair all right so the first one we have is not drinking enough water yep guys that is a serious struggle of mine to be honest I really really have to force myself to drink water on a daily basis right I don't usually drink juice and all these things but I try I, I try my best to replace the juice with water I will drink juice once in a while but we do need our water and it is recommended six to eight glasses per day because of course our body is made up of 70% water and in order for our organs and different parts of the body to function properly we need that water and that water also goes up to our scalp and come through our follicles and hair strands so that we can have nicely moisturized hair so tip number one to prevent dryness is drink more water all right number two Stop using sulfate shampoos regularly. All right. One of the things that I learned the hard way, it was using sulfate shampoo and my hair was like, my hair almost literally stood up like a stick. All right, it was so dry, so dry, so dry. Again, these were mistakes that I made when I first became natural. So you want to try a sulfate-free shampoo and there are quite a few on the market. There are different clarifying shampoos as well as moisturizing shampoos and shampoos for all different hair care needs. But if you need to clarify your hair, one good pointer is you can use an apple cider vinegar rinse for your hair i do have a video coming up about that and how i use it for my hair and why i've been using it so stay tuned for that right so to avoid dryness use a sulfate free shampoo if your hair has a lot of product buildup and you want to get rid of it maybe you can use a mild sulfate shampoo but i do not recommend it often all right another way you can remove gunk from your hair or extra build up you can also do a mask and i do a bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar mask for my hair and that really detoxifies my hair removes all the build up and gives my hair a fresh new clean slate to start from all right so quick the sulfate shampoos so the next point i have here is stop sleeping on cotton pillowcases and just going to sleep without your hair tied down now all of us who have been natural for a while and i'm sure those who are newly natural would have heard this several times across the board 
you need to cover your hair you need to protect your hair from whether it's hats that you are wearing um, if you are relaxing on the couch and you want to lay your head back on the chair be sure to put something of satin material so that you can rest your head on um, and especially when you are sleeping if you do not like to tie your head down please 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 try your best to get a satin pillowcase if you don't have that try to get a satin scarf or a satin bonnet to tie your head with now this is something I really really try to do because I used to experience terrible dryness before and these are some of the things that help me to combat with that right even on the car seat where I usually sit I bought a satin um, bonnet and I put it over the seat where my head is usually resting I put it over it so in case I need to lean back my head on the car seat I always have that now I know some of you may be traveling a bit more often than riding in your own car but try not to lean back especially on the seats where your head is being um your hair is roughed up on the edges even sometimes when you have um longer hair and it reaches down to your clothes you have to try to avoid it rubbing up on your clothes right so that is tip number three if you see me looking down i have my notes on a piece of paper so that's why i'm looking down number four stop using heat or minimize your heat use all right and this includes any form of heat in terms of blow drying or flat ironing please do not overdo it because your hair will be fried right i i don't think i have ever used I probably used the blow dryer once but it wasn't to really directly blow out my hair I had set my hair in a roller set that's quite a few years ago and it was sort of wet so I tried to use it on the curlers that were in my hair to blow it out and trust me even though my hair was not directly exposed to that blow dryer as in my ends and stuff I still felt it still felt a little crunchy when I took it out of the coolers right so please avoid using heat as much as you can minimize it that's tip number four let's go on to tip number five so this is another thing I realized that I wasn't doing as much when I just returned natural and I used to have my dry hair problems or my dry hair phase and it's I never used to deep condition as much I would wash my hair and condition my hair but I would not deep condition like actually buy a deep conditioner for my hair it's something I have been doing a lot for the past year or so I have been trying different deep conditioners and it has been working well for me so it is recommended that every time you wash your hair it is a must it is a must and every time you wash your hair you must deep condition that is to put back all the moisture that your shampoo would have removed from your hair strands and even though it's not a sulfate shampoo you still want to add back moisture to your hair and one thing i need to get is a heat cap or a hooded dryer i think i might more be comfortable with a heat cap that you definitely need that to add some extra boost to your deep conditioner because the heat allows it to soak right in but for now if you don't have one you can always use shower cap you can use plastic bags grocery excess grocery bags that you have you can use those and it is recommended that you use more than one so i probably use five shampoo cups at a time and sometimes i would 
heat a towel in the microwave and put that on top of those five shower caps and then put a big shower cap over that to hold that down and that gives me um, medium heat for a little while if I want I could reheat it and repeat the process so that's what I use that's a tip you can use if you do not have a hoodie dryer or even one of those attachments for your blow dryer if you don't have those you can do that as well another way that you can generate heat is if you are busy doing something around the house while you have your deep conditioner in your hair the heat from your body would naturally allow the, the conditioner to saturate and soak up your hair will soak up all that goodness so when the recommended time is finished you will have a great deep conditioner all right so try to do this weekly if possible another reason why your hair may be very dry is because you have in your protective styles too long and you are neglecting your hair now some people yes there are times when we do not want to do anything with our hair we are so happy we have braids we have four locks we have everything else in there and we just feel like oh I don't have to do anything to my hair that's it I am leaving my hair as it is. again this is something I have learned the hard way that you cannot neglect your hair while you are doing a protective style you must moisturize your hair and you must put oils into it probably a nice moisturizing spray and you cannot leave it for long periods like past four weeks that is not recommended at all because your hair is growing out of your head and it does need attention all right so please do not extend your protective styles more than four to six weeks all right so number seven too much product on your hair or as we all know the term product buildup now this can happen very easily sometimes different mixtures of products we might not know what will mix well with the other and that can cause your hair to be dry because you are constantly putting product upon product upon product every time you do your moisturizing regimen you are repeating it or if you put gel in your hair and you leave it for an extended period of time it will dry out eventually and you will not be able to put anything on top of that right so it is recommended to combat that you need to wash your hair weekly if possible wash your hair every one and a half to two weeks or if you can one week all right every week because when you wash it you will release your hair of all the previous product that you have and you can start afresh so that is one thing that you need to do in order to remove product buildup from your hair so that your hair trans can open up to receive new moisture all right number eight maybe the type of moisturizing regimen that you are using doesn't work for you now there are two as far as i know there are two ways in which you can moisturize your hair we all know the lock method which is liquid then oil then cream or you can use the lco method which is liquid then cream then you seal with an oil now i have videos on this you can go and check them out i will be sure to leave them in the description box below and at the top so you guys can see what the lock method is about or what the lco method is about now i have been using the lock method for quite a few years that's another reason why i think my hair hasn't been retaining moisture as it should right and it was always dry because LOC method or the lock method was not working for me so I came across the LCO method and I decided to try it and I have seen great improvements ever since so if you are using the LCO method and it's not working 
probably you should try the lock method and if you are using the lock method and that's not working you can try the LCO method to see which one works for you now this is important because the way how you apply your products and how your hair responds to products might not be the same way other persons here will respond or the way how my hair will respond to products will not be the same way your hair will respond so you need to try the different methods to see what works for you all right based on my experience i am currently using the lco method and i find that my hair is retaining moisture for up to three to four days so number nine you are over exposed to the elements now some of us may live in very hot areas and we want to wear our hair open all the time we are not protective styling our hair we are not protecting our ends and we are always exposing it to the weather the wind the sun and even for those who live in cold areas the cold winter breeze and that atmosphere is not conducive to moisture right it can suck all the moisture out of your hair so if you according to where you live you can try different tips to combat that from happening all right or to prevent that from happening now what is recommended is that you protect your hair probably more than once or twice a week you can't leave your hair out yes there are a number of us who like to have fun with our hair and some of us who love protective styling but protective styling helps to protect our ends from all the elements and so on as well as to keep in the moisture that you already put in your hair while you were doing your moisturizing regimen and the last reason why your hair is dry number 10 is because of probably health conditions you have scalp conditions and nutrition there are so many different illnesses that you may have and you're not sure about that may be causing your hair to be dry there are different scalp conditions as well that you can have probably lack of certain vitamins not enough as of a certain vitamin in your diet you can go and do your own research and see what are some of the illnesses that can cause your hair to be dry so it is recommended that if you have tried all the other tips and you still have problems with dry hair you probably need to check your diet and see what you are eating and probably to see if you have any health conditions you can check your doctor or if you have a scalp condition you can check a dermatologist so that you will know how to move on from there and to allow your hair to maintain moisture all right thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up and be sure to share it with your friends and be sure to also stay subscribed for more videos like these do have a blessed one see you in the next one bye